Welcome back to the channel everybody. If you're new, welcome. Thank you for viewing the video. I hope you're having a fantastic day. So today I've got a good topic to talk about and that is how many items do I need for my first ever order into Amazon? So this is going to vary for everybody because it's going to depend on the average monthly sales for your niche. So if on average in your niche there's, been, there's 300 sales every month, what you're going to want to do is order 900. And the reason for that is because you need three months worth of stock for your first order. After your first order, uh, that formula changes drastically. But for your first order, what you need is three months worth of stock. And I'll break it down now. Let's say your product takes three to four weeks in production. That's one month. And then your product takes three to four weeks to ship. So that's two months. At the moment you contact your supplier and say start producing until your item actually gets into Amazon. That's two months, that's a lot of time, that's six to eight weeks. So that's two months and I said you needed three months. So the reason for that is obviously you need the capital to do that in the first place. So for, so month number one is your is building capital. So you've launched your product and you've, you've made some good sales in the first month. At the end of month one, you've made your 300 sales, you contact your supplier and you say, I'm ready to place my order, let's get the ball rolling. So what happens is you don't pay the full amount up front to your supplier. They don't say, okay, well give me 100% of the cost. You pay 30% of the cost, which is good because in your first month, the money's not gonna be, the, the profit's not gonna be as much as it will be going forward because you've just launched your product and you're gonna be spending more on giveaways or PPC. So by the end of month one, you've made back that 30%. So you now say to your supplier, start production because I know it's gonna take two months and in two months time, I'm gonna be out of stock. So you want your new stock to be arriving right when your old stock is just about to sell out. It's, it's okay if there's a little bit of overlap, but what you don't wanna do is sell out and have you know a week when you're out of stock because Amazon, go, Amazon rank you by your um, daily average sales over the past 30 and 60 days. If in that period of time you're not, you've not got any sales for for a week or so, that's going to damage your listing, and it means when your second shipment comes in, you're going to have to spend money again on PPC and advertising and giveaways to get that ranking back up to where you were before. So if you can manage to get your products into Amazon just as you're about to sell out, no sooner no later, just as you're about to sell out. That is the golden spot and that is where you want to be. So it's really simple. Three months time, based on your average monthly sales. So for me, I um, on my first ever shipment, I got 750 units. So it meant every month I was expecting 250 sales. By the end of the first month, contacted my supplier, said start, start production again, because in a month's time, I'm going to be ready to ship. Um, in a month's time, it was ready to ship. Actually, production took three weeks and then um, shipping took uh, 22 days so it was just over three weeks so within about six weeks after I'd contacted my supplier I had my stock back in Amazon so it meant I had about two weeks I think it was um, 16 days that I had my my new stock sitting in Amazon when my old stock was still just about to sell out so that's okay so it was just about two weeks that's all there is to it it's just understanding that little formula of when to contact your supplier uh, and realizing how long production is going to take and how long shipping is going to take now this is just this can vary so if you're shipping by um if you're shipping by air air shipping only takes about a week so i would still suggest getting three months worth of stock because this is just going to save you the hassle of constantly going to your supplier and asking for um for more product so if you're shipping by air it's typically four to seven days shipping time so that just gives you that bit more time to build up that capital before you ask your um, supplier to start production. And it's also going to depend on, on what product you're selling because not every product is going to take a month in production. So my products take typically three weeks, but there are other products I know of that take 10 to, 10 to 14 days, so two weeks at most. Um, so it's really going to depend on, on what you're selling. So you just need to keep an eye out on... Um, ask your supplier how long how long is production for X amount of units, and then you need to work out whether or not you're going to be selling uh, sorry shipping by air or by sea, um, and that's really going to give you your your gauge on on when you need to contact your supplier to order 
back your second batch. But uh, that's it. Nice short video for today. I'm super busy. I hope you liked the video. Uh, like I said earlier, if you're new, then what's up? Welcome to the family. Thanks for viewing the video. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And come and join the Facebook group. So thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.